So you all know that I avoid makeup tutorials, right? But here now is only all you know the amount of DMs I got in order to film this particular look. And for those of you who don't know, during my recent trip, I actually posted on my Instagram stories and so on um, that I wore this makeup look with a black like dress for a business cocktail event, and everybody wanted to see it. It features you Huda Beauty, Huda Beauty Smoky Palette, and um, it's very very simple. Um, the lashes I got from Arlene Villarou Felix, AVD Beauty Experts, and this really is the completed look. So stay tuned if you want to see how I got this look. Okay, so guys, I kind of already prepped my face. I have on the Revlon Photo Ready Primer. And um, in the look that I actually did, that you saw, I use a Lancome Tinty Doll foundation, but I'm not using that because I ain't going to place after this video. So let's use something a little more affordable. So I'm actually using the CoverGirl Vitalist Healthy Elixir. And this is the shade 757, which is actually perfect shade for me. It's even better than 760. So that's what I have on my skin so far. I did one eye and one brow. So we're going to do the other eye and finish it completely look and this look like I said features the Huda Beauty Smoky Obsessions palette and this is what it looks like and you're going to see how very very simple this is to do right so I'm prepping my lips as well with my lip mask which is a way that you can use it and here we go so guys you all seen another use for this lip mask um, I can use it to prep my lips as well as use it overnight I'm starting with the Maybelline Adri Wine Concealer and I use that um, as almost like an eyeshadow base. Um, it works well. You all can see how dingy this one is. And I'm not putting a lot, just lightly tapping it um, so that it remains tacky and not fully dry and ready to take that eyeshadow. This is an Elizabeth Moth blending brush that I absolutely love. I've spoken about it before. And I'm going in with the lightest shade in that palette. And I'm just basically setting the crease area. Um, before I put the other shadows on there. Blend, blend, blend. And you can see it's, it's not really doing much, but it's just literally setting down the, the base. I'm going in with that lighter. It's actually a mauve brown shade. And now I'm actually creating the slight smoke that I want in the crease um, and you're going to see me just going from the lightest to the darkest and just building as I go along so that everything blends nicely um, so that's why I'm going now into the darker brown shade and now you see that I'm taking it a little bit more directly into the crease before I was a little bit above but now a little bit more directly into the crease I kind of measure where my eye socket is in order to know where to place my brush um, with the deeper shade and that's where I'm giving that placement there with this darker brown shade. Um, I am not into so much dramatic eye looks and I'm barely touching the shadows because these Huda palettes are very pigmented and I don't want like a, a ton of shadow to come out. I'm going in with that black and you that like you see how very lightly I touch that because that black packs a punch. And you don't know want when you're using black shadow that you apply a whole set and then you look like somebody just cuff you in your face, literally, you know. Um, so it's always better to start with a little and build as you go along and again I'm keeping it in that that area and that socket area right in the crease itself. You see how lightly I touched that um, Just to build and put a little bit more black and I'm keeping it in the crease So it's not getting to where I actually put the first set of shadows This brush is a brush I got in an Ipsy or Boxy Charm like a long long, long time ago But it's a f essentially a flat shader brush I'm misting it with this wet and wild um, coconut water primer spray essentially you could use any satin spray you could even use water and that silver shade is really the star of the show it's a very glittery shade um i feel like on camera it's not picking up as like how it would look in person it's very very glittery very very shiny although you could kind of see it a bit when i move around um but it is one of those kind of flaky shadows so that's why i missed the brush so that the brush would be able to pick it up now if i use my finger i would actually get this onto my eyes a lot faster but i'm using the brush because guys i'm too lazy to do a cut crease so i actually use the shape of a shader brush that roundness to create that type of round um, and shape kind of thing um, and that's why i'm actually using the brush to apply this and not my finger I'm going back in with my blending brush with no additional product and I'm just blending where the silver meets the black. I'm just, you know, taking some of that and just touching the edges there. 
Um, this is a pencil brush and this is another thing that I do to kind of fake the cut crease. So I'm going to touch a little bit of that black and right above where um, I created that shape with the shader brush. I'm just running the pencil brush with the black there and just blending as I go along um, to create that, the, make the shape a little bit more defined um, with regards to that lid shade. And of course, again, I'm using the blending brush just to blend everything together and make sure there are not any real harsh lines. Um, this is my favorite, favorite concealer of all drugstore high-end, the Too Faced Born This Way. Since I've gotten it, I, I've fallen in love with it and I love it especially for glam looks because the shade it really gives me a bright under eye highlight this blends beautifully they actually claim that you can blend it on top of makeup for retouches and stuff and I think that's one of the things about the formulation that I like um, especially because if anything happens during the day you could easily blend this back I'm taking my beauty blender um, that would have had some of my foundation on it and I just like to pass that around the edges of where I applied my highlighting concealer to kind of blend the edges um, between the condition the foundation and the concealer the conceal areas this is one of my oldies but goldies that I've recently brought back into rotation the Rimmel Stay Matte um, pressed powder in sandstorms shade 004 this was like an og product for me and i love using it to set under eyes i've been using it again for the last two months or so and i travel with it i love the fact that it's in a compact as well and it really looks very smooth and nice sets the concealer lovely um using no surprise the bh studio um pressed powder in shade 235 to set everywhere else Um, the sleek contour palette that I have hit pan on and I traveled with this as well and by the way guys you're getting to see what what makeup I actually traveled with um, when I went on a trip um, this shade this is the contour um, palette by sleek contour highlight palette by sleek in shade medium um, sleek is a UK brand that makes excellent excellent products and they have um, very very pigmented um, base products that work well on melanin skin so you see that I'm starting to have a bit of shaping happening with the face. Um, and while it's a contour shade, I, I actually kind of use it more to warm up the face. And you'll see I did the pinch thing to do a little bit of shaping on nose. This is a blush by Studio Makeup um, called Wildflower. I think Superfarm still carries this blush. I'm not sure. I had gotten this in a boxy charm a long, long time ago. And it is probably my favorite pink blush and of course the kiko highlight that i talked about in my top five drugstore highlighters and the aoa f19 brush that i love using with it Ooh, look at that and you all see how very very lightly i touch that uh you know i i don't usually go very very heavy with makeup so that's a lot for me Um, so then I just take back my brush that I applied the blush and that's a real techniques brush by the way very affordable excellent um, I'm not one of those people people that does my brows before foundation it's really hard for me to do that I mean I can but then I always mess it up because foundation gets any brows so that I just leave it for the end and I'm and while I can cover up my brows I hardly ever do that like I will do that for a wedding or some real serious glam in general I I don't bother to cover it out. I don't bother to clean up or anything like that. I just fill in my brows and I use my under brow highlight to do a little bit of cleaning up and I'm fine with that. It looks very, very natural. Um, and yeah, so I leave the cleaning up concealed type of brows for big events. And of course I was traveling. So your girl had limited time as well to get ready. Very, very busy days. Had no time to do that. So. I use the Benefit um, Precisely My Brow, which has been my favorite brow pencil for the last few months in shade 4.5 and just run it through. And look at what I did. The Huda Beauty Smoky Palette doesn't have a shade light enough for under brow highlights. I use the same powder that I set my concealer with and that's a trick that I do when I travel. I carry products that are multi-purpose and I use that as my under brow highlight. This is an OG product. Like if you all were following my vid like first, first, first videos that I've done, I mentioned this the L'Oreal Brow Stylus, Brow Stylus Plumper to set my brows. And just uh, as I was um, doing the under, uh, under brow highlight, I noticed 
that I could do a little more blending there so that's what I did this is the Zoeva black eyeliner like this eyeliner is super black but it's very very soft and I love that for tight lining which is what I'm doing there put it eyes necessary now uh, if you're not sure about this don't try this at home but honestly this is the only way I've been able to apply lashes I suck at la lash application and I learned this trick from Arlene Villarul I apply the lash glue directly to um, the base of the lash and then I actually apply a just a little bit of glue onto the lash itself and what happens to me what, ha what I notice happens is that the tackiness on both just allows them to just grab onto each other very very easily and yeah that has been like a lifesaver for me so that now i could actually use lashes for videos and you know when i want to go out and that kind of thing and now it's not like a 20 minute process so i'm just pressing them together and of course these lashes are the ones that i've been reusing that i got from arlene as well she has them for sale at her studio um very very lightly put in that black pencil the same zoeva one in my waterline now this is a trick that i do i take a um this this type of brush and because the zoeva pencil is so soft i run the brush al along it to get product and i'm actually going to use that to line the top of my eye very very lightly and it's only really just to put where um the lash meets my actual um lash line there so i'm just putting some liner just to kind of conceal that glue area um not really too much to line my eyes um and i just went back into the palette with the mauvey brown shade and the darker brown shade i'm not using the black to smoke out the lash line there as you can see and you can very well go in with black but i tend to like a little eye looks at a little bit softer i'm using the silver in my my inner corner and that's um a, a beauty junkies pencil brush actually no surprise colourpop bff lip pencil um this is a new one that i took out you all know i have this you'll swear the, i have a warehouse for sale but nope all those are my backups because i love this shade so much it just goes with everything and it's perfect for me and of course this is the huda beauty sugar mama liquid lipstick that i have been in love with it's a gorgeous peachy nude and i think it really really um perfected and completed this look that kind of nude lip with the silver and black on the eyes and then of course just to bring bring it together i put the um i'm using a mascara on my lower lashes and basically that's what it looks like so guys this is the completed look i just finished my hair and if you want to see how this happened <laughs> stay tuned because that's going to be the next video that's going to go up i attempted to film it um, so yeah, I'm just putting on the earrings and this was the actual jewelry that I wore in that um, For that event that cocktail that I went to and this gorgeous gorgeous necklace. I got this from she rocks I y'all wouldn't believe like how long I have this I probably have like two or three variations of this They have so many variations of these necklaces with these pewter and black stones They are very high quality and they just make the simplest thing you know look so fabulous so i'm obviously not wearing the dress that i had on that night i'm wearing like literally a gray jersey maxi and you know look at that necklace on it so yeah this is my completed look <laughs>